This week, I learned how to rug tuft. I ordered a kit online with everything you need to start rug tufting. I'm gonna be making a few different rugs, each one increasing in difficulty and seeing if I have what it takes. This is the rug tufting gun. It shoots the yarn into the canvas and has a scissor on the end to cut it off. But first, we gotta make a frame for our canvas. This is the design that I came up with. These outside pieces are the legs. And these cross members, I want to make it so that if I have a different canvas size, I can slide these up and down, as well as take this piece and move it along. I'm going to assemble it, and then I'm going to put the tack strip on. This thing is looking amazing. It's time to hang the canvas. That is perfect. I think for the first one, I'm just gonna make an abstract design, try and use these six colors that came with the kit and see how far a ball of yarn this size gets me. And I just wanna see how the gun works. Starting off with my favorite color. It just chops it up into these tiny little strands. That was actually a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. On this side, it doesn't look like much, but on the back side, it actually looks kind of cool. I am done. Probably not gonna look great, but I still think it's gonna be cool. I haven't looked yet. Let's do it together. I actually think it turned out pretty good. Need some of these long pieces cleaned up. Now I'm just gonna spray the extra monk's cloth with some glue and fold it over to the back side. With a little bit of trimming, this thing actually turned out all right. So the gun is definitely going to take some getting used to. One thing I noticed was you don't want to be too high. You don't want to be too low or too off to one side. You want to have it straight on. Now we're going to start the real one. I have this projector. I'm going to hook it up to my laptop, pull up my next design and shoot the image onto the new canvas so I can outline it perfectly. The design is traced, I have my colors, it's time to get started. I'm gonna start with black. looking pretty good from this side. I am a little worried. I didn't leave enough spacing in these areas and the colors might mix. Now that the outlining's done, I'm just gonna go and fill in the rest of the black. I feel like I might have messed up. Looking at it now, it probably would have been smarter to fill in the green and the white spaces and then fill the rest of the black in, especially up here with all these fine details. <laughs> It's actually looking a lot better than I thought it would. 
I think I'm done. Here, I'm cutting it out, leaving about an inch and a half of monk's cloth around. Before I fold this over, I'm gonna make relief cuts about every one to two inches around the rug. Now, I just need to take this spray adhesive, go all the way around, wait 15 to 30 seconds, and then fold the edges over. After that, I'm gonna take this plastic buddy knife and spread carpet adhesive all over the back of the rug, making sure to push the glue into the fibers to lock everything in place. We're just going to take this electric trimmer and clean up the top. Here I'm trying to trim in between the green and the black. Hopefully it's going to make the design pop even more. This looks like a totally different rug cleaned up. I belong, I belong to you. I'm gonna start my third and final design. This one has to be perfect. I got my colors picked out. Let's get started. I'm gonna start off with the white. Little did I know I had already made a huge mistake and I wouldn't realize until later. Let me know if you've seen it yet. Now that I have the outline done, I'm gonna go in and fill in all the letters with the white. Now that I'm used to the gun and I can keep it at a continuous speed, these lines are looking so much cleaner. The letters actually turned out so good. I just hope that the paint can get in these spaces without it looking too crowded. It's backwards. Mother fudger is definitely what I said. Now that Dum Dum's got the image flipped around, we can start over again. All right, I flipped the image, I got the white outline done again, and now it's just time to go fill it in and we'll be as far as we were before. But in all seriousness, making mistakes is not the end of the world and messing things up the first time puts you in a really good spot to kill it the second time. We are back to where we were and it's the right way. Yay. Now it's time for the pink. The outline is done. Next is to go around all the letters and in between all these white areas. And I am pretty nervous about that because that was the one part of the grenade that I didn't do very well. So it's time to redeem myself like that. This may look a little silly. I got partway through cutting the rug out and had the idea that it might be easier to glue it while it's still on the stand. And it worked well. finish off this rug, I'm gonna do something I haven't done for any of the other rugs so far, and that is put on a felt non-slip backing. For this, we're gonna take the same spray adhesive from before, spray the back side of the rug, 
and the back side of the felt liner. Wait our 15 to 30 seconds and then really push the two together to make sure it's got good adhesion and push out any air bubbles. And then repeat this process for the other half. For this, you're going to want to make sure you have a sharp pair of scissors and then you're going to slowly peel back the felt until you just see a little bit of monk's cloth showing and then trim off any extra felt. Now all that's left is to clean up the front. Cutting in the edges had me stressed because one wrong move could ruin the entire rug altogether, but the payoff is well worth it. It brought this rug to the next level, and it's by far my favorite. Done. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want.